Hey, what's up guys? Just hanging out here at the pond. It doesn't get enough attention, I don't think, on the uh, Camp Kennan shows. So I thought, why don't we do this? Why don't we get some of the turtles up, see who's hanging around. I'm gonna throw out a cast net. I just got a brand new cast net. And uh, we'll kind of see just who's hanging about and kind of have a game of roulette. Whatever I pull out, we'll talk about. Sound good? Come on back. A good portion of my life has been all about action which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kenner. So, one of the reasons I actually picked this home to live in way back when was because it had this just giant pond, man. I mean, you know, if you're a turtle lover, Got to have a pond for your turtles. So the cool things about this pond is, a, in addition to being a place where, you know, I can have some turtles living naturalistically, it's also a fantastic place for me to kind of pull out prey items for Jackie and Slinky because I get fish out of here, and I also get fish for the Mata Mata. But today we're, in addition to grabbing some fish, we're going to test out this new cast net I just got, and uh, we're going to go ahead and hope for. Oh blimey. I gotta get a, uh, I need to cut this. So we have to do that over. Be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Anytime. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got the zip tie cut off. So as I was saying, the great part about having this pond is not only is it a place for all these turtles to live and I get to come out and enjoy it, uh, but it's also a place for me to get food items for some of the other animals I keep here. Uh, and over the years, um, you know, this has become a colony. Uh, this is kind of a hodgepodge, if you will. So you never know what you're going to get uh, or who you're going to see, which is nice. But everyone out here in this pond can survive the cooler temperatures of the winter here in South Florida. So I'm going to just put a couple casts in and we're going to see what we come up with and we'll talk about the animals we see. So we're going to learn a little bit about some pond turtles today. All right, here we go. And I've got a very unorthodox way of, uh, of throwing my cast net. It's a little different than most guys. It's a little bit more, um, shall you say, Artistic, like a ballerina, I suppose. Back up. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with a weight. Here we go, we're gonna shoot out there and see what we got. Yeah. You throw it out, you, it spreads, you let it sink a bit, and then give it a good yank, and then pull it in, and let's see what we got. Hopefully we got some fish, because I need some. Oh yeah, we, also, we only got, oh look at that, we got a tilapia, couple. So I'm gonna go ahead and See this guy right here? There's a little tilapia. That'll be some nice seafood for Slinky. So uh, it's a cool way to kind of round out the monitor's diet, which is important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little, I guess I can step in the water too while I'm at it. Let's get a little water for these guys. Just shake them, shake them only and guy's small but he'd be good for my oh look at oh and he oh, he, we're popped free. Out. he made it <laughs> look at that that's all right dude good for you buddy <laughs> you know what just for the heck of it this little guy's too small we're gonna let him grow on it so well it's all right <laughs> that was pretty funny he he did not want to be food today so he gets to swim around the pond a little bit longer but let's hope we catch a turtle this next one around okay watch that lens I don't want to get it wet uh, let's go for Go for turtles. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got one. Looks like we got ourselves some grandis. Oh. oh yeah. We got something. Nope. I don't think so. Yep, we got a grandis. Ooh, look at the size of that one. Oh, he got away. But I uh I wanted that one, but let's get this one instead. I can show you some about the giant Asian wood turtle or pond turtle. Let's just gently get him out of here and we'll talk a little bit about them. These happen to be some of my favorite turtles, believe it or not. They're some of the most plentiful here in the, in, in the pond, but these are so much fun, and we've never talked about them, have we, Tom? I don't think I'm, so, not yeah, in any detail. Not in any detail, you know, I know I've done some, oh, was that a poop that you just pooped on me? He did just drop a deuce. Yeah, he did just drop a deuce. Totally. So, uh, it's in. a gal, gal dropping a deuce. Here comes another one. That's what they do when they're nervous, they just, Go ahead and yeah, that's gross. make a poop easy, yeah, and I'm in their water. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, all right. Now that's that's, that's nice. Okay, are you done, lady? 
So these guys here are from Asia, as you would imagine. Um, you can find them uh, in many of the temples. Uh, these are a turtle that are often placed into the temples and therefore they're finding themselves some... The heck's going on? There's a lot of mud coming out of her. Good oh. grief. Uh, this is making talking about them a little difficult. Uh, this is a female. There's about 43 of them here in the pond, somewhere around that. Uh, these guys get pretty large. There are definitely the males get bigger than the females in the species. Uh, so they really have uh, some size to them. And even just me holding her right now, she's pretty heavy. Uh, but the cool thing about them is what they lack in coloration, okay, they make up for in personality. So gregarious. They love to come out. They wander on the land. They graze. It's almost like they're an aquatic tortoise, believe it or not. They'll eat grass. Uh, they'll eat animal matter. They'll eat pellets, fruits. Uh, they breed in October and lay from the end of October into January. Uh, very beautiful and personable animal in my opinion. Now many of these animals that I've gotten were destined for the food market and I got these through the Turtle Survival Alliance. So the Grandis are really cool. They're called Hyosemis Grandis or the Giant Asian Wood or Giant Asian Pond Turtle. Uh, so people will place them in the temple ponds as an offering to Buddha but what happens is so many of them accumulate that they don't really get fed and uh, that's kind of a bummer. Now these not to be confused with the temple turtle. They are closely related but uh, they are not the same turtle. Temple turtles are going to have some yellow on their head uh, and they don't have as notched uh, cusps on either side of them. The, right there those two fang-like protrusions are called cusps uh, and that's a notch in the middle of their beak. So um, that's a really cool animal but what do you say we let her down I know I'm going to wind up scooping up more of these by accident. I always like to put the turtles on uh, the ground so that they go in the water on their own. You never want to put a water turtle back in because you don't know if they've taken a breath or not. Uh, okay, so as you can see, now you guys can see just how many of these are. And I see a turtle I want to grab. Um, I see a turtle that I think would be fun to talk about. It's an Asian leaf turtle, um, but I don't want to scare it. So let's just see if I can kind of pretend. Just hang out, guys. I, I'd like to. Which one is it? The one oh, closest? Shuck, she, hold on, hold on. I see it. I don't know. I got it. Okay. It would have been, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What <laughs> I, was that? I don't know. <laughs> it was probably just turtle claws on my feet. Anyway, this is a cool turtle. This is the Asian leaf turtle, and you can see they've been living out here for a while. They've got their algae on them, um, but they are uh, scientifically called Cyclemes dentata. Look at this. Just an old wound right there, or a wound that's healing. What will happen is the turtle will get an injury, okay, like this. Uh, all these were, were taken from food markets years ago, and you can see they, they actually heal from the inside out. So what happens is the bony part that was injured popped out, so you're now seeing the new growth of bone underneath, the healthy bone. So that's living bone and it'll fill in just like this one is filled in. You see how it's kind of gotten a little filled in and there's a little pitting and notches. And that's just from life uh, in the pond, life out in the wild. I mean, this is, you know, as wild as they're gonna get here in North America. Uh, they are a fantastic little species. They all also wander around um, in, uh, on land over some time if it's rainy and moist. But during this time of the year, they stay in the pond. It's just so hot. So they're really a cool turtle. Again, another member of the uh, Asian turtle complex. There are two main groups of turtles. There's the Amadura, which are the, the pond turtles, and then there's the Batigrids. And this is, belongs to the Batigur family of turtles. Um, so check that out. Do some more research on your own. Let's see if it's a little head will come out. Will you come out and say hello? Probably not. But they're cool. Another kind of drably colored but really fun animal to keep and care for and they do well in a pond and a, uh, also in a situation where they have room to walk over and kind of scam clamber about on land. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, so, please do. Is it just super easy to keep out here? Oh yeah, dude. Here's the deal guys. I mean, look, so many people, um, you know, I got to get into this. Yeah. Florida is pretty close to perfect for keeping a lot of species of turtles and so the way I keep these guys is I just add food. I come out here and feed them twice a week. I make sure that the, that the entire perimeter is escape proof. You know, it's got board running around the bottom so hatchlings can't get out if I miss any eggs. Um, it's constant upkeep in that way. But, you know, it's pretty easy for the animals I've chosen uh, to put in this pond. Th these are not animals that we have to worry about temperature drops and so on because they're either hardy or cool tolerant or they're native. 
Um, and that's always good too. Uh, look at this grandis right here. This is a male. And they're, they're so funny. Look at this. Uh, 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 oh God, that's scratchy. That's scratchy. That's scratchy. Okay, that helps. All right, so I'm going to put this one down. And I want to talk about this male because, oh, because look at how concave that is. This is a male grandis or giant Asian pond turtle. Uh, he's going to poop too. That's what they do when they get nervous. And he's talking to me. Hear him talking. So anyhow, uh, you can see how concave that is. These guys are concave more so than most other water turtles because they walk around on land. And let me tell you, in October, you hear the loudest ramming you'll ever hear in your life. Just echoing throughout the whole camp. Just these animals are like, bam, 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 onto the females, ramming the shells, trying to get them to uh, submit. So, but look at how concave that is, huh? Pretty cool. It's heavy, I'm gonna put it down. So you got, the sh you got it? I got it. All right, dude, I'm yeah. gonna put this one down. What do you say we throw the cast net out? See, and then we took a breath, that was good. Uh, let's throw the cast net out and see what we can come up with. I've been scaring the turtles away, jumping on in after them. I, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of fun, even though there's poop in this water. It's kind of, how many are in here? Like, how many varieties? How many Those different varieties? All right, off the top of my head, we've got painted turtles, uh, Asian leaf turtles, grandis. Um, we've got the Hillari, the Joffrey Sidenecks. Uh, we've got the... Um, We've got serrated mud turtles from Africa. We've got red belly cooters, peninsular cooters. We've got snapping turtles. We've got um, yellow bellied sliders. We've got uh, map turtles. Did I say map turtles? I don't think I, I don't said think map so, no. That's 10 right off the top of my head. Um, we've got, uh, what else is in here? I know there's more. Um, we've got musk turtles, mud turtles. That's 12. Um, All right, so let's, let's play. Uh, well, it's not the price is right, or I don't know what it is, but let's see. Let's go for one more. See yeah, what, we'll, what, we'll what we throw get. another in and see what we can get. Uh, we'll talk about whatever we come up with. But you see how I've scared them away? They're smart. They know I'm out here up to no good. So they're pretty smart. They know I don't normally, don't, when I feed, I'm normally not um, throwing this cast net. I like it. It's like a wheel of turtles. Yes. You don't know what you're going to get. Let's you see. never know. This is spin the, that this wheel. Is the, this is your final spin. I'm not as cute as Vanna White, this though. This is your final spin. Um, let's see what you get. Well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be slim pickings because I don't see any turtles. Um, but let's try it. We'll go through a few more. you got to watch the stand it's back. Big a guy bit. over there. But. Yeah, but that's another. Oh, wait, wait. I see something out there. There's, there's a Florida soft shell. That's the 13th one. Should we try and go for that guy? Sure. All right, stand back, please. I'm going to do my twirl. He knows I'm looking at him. They're so smart. Here we go. Got him. Hopefully. Nice shot. Let's hope I got him. So we could talk about Florida soft shell. We've seen me rescue a few of these, but here are some babies. Uh, he gets too quick for me, but I did get a tilapia. Big one. Yeah, big tilapia. Um, I don't eat the fish in here. Um, we're gonna let this one go. Why not? Well, because I don't know, I'm spooked, man. I actually, <laughs> I ate tilapia in Costa Rica when we went to Costa Rica and I, I had diarrhea for like freaking a month after we got back. <laughs> well, I'm not eating tilapia again. Uh, they are bottom feeding fish. They're fish that eat other excrement so i don't know how good that is they are tasty going in but coming out no fun uh all right well we missed that one which Who's is that a bum guy out there that that's another grandis ah. there is there's no chance of me catching it today but there is a leviathan in here and it's a um it's the orlidia the um what is that the giant river terrapin uh the giant river turtle from asia but we won't be able to catch that today uh let's see we got to get another one and finish this episode up. Gosh, where is that? I don't know. Even all the cooters took off. Hmm. Let's walk over to another location. This way you guys get to see a little bit more of the pond also. We got some shady area. No fire ants, right? I hope not. I'm the one without shoes on. Oh, I don't know. But we're over on the back end here. This is the, well, I would call maximum water level here of the pond. And the hope is to one day is to build a stream going into it that will clear up the flocculent, which is the free floating soil that causes the murk. And hopefully we can do swimming with right in our own pond. Uh, so that'll be cool. All right, guys, I'm going to toss this in, but I don't think we're going to come up with anything. The turtles seem to be on to me, uh, but I'll go give it a, give it a shot. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna come up empty, I know it. Oh man, zilch. All right guys, so I'm just hanging out. I've 
I've decided not to use the uh, cast net because it's keeping the turtles away. But I got a really cute turtle that I, I happen to like, and normally she's she comes out. So what I'll do is I'll try and get her in here with some of this food, and uh, we'll talk about her. And she's a North American species. She's actually she's actually a uh, native of Florida. So it's really cool. There she is out there. I want her to. I'll try and lure her in here. Come on, mom. Here's your food. Come on. Yeah, see, they're pretty smart, the turtles, man. They know, they know when you're up to no good. Um, and I find that funny because people think turtles are stupid. No way. They know when there's one person around. They know when there's two people around. Um, and I, you know, I do build up trust with them, but I know some of you will probably, no doubt, say that I'm a very mean person because I'm scaring these turtles. But uh, <laughs> we got to have a show, and I got to educate you, and I hope. Uh, that you don't mind, but these little guys are treated so well here. If once in a blue moon I jump in and scare them just a little bit, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. It's good to get scared every now and again, I think. It keeps you on your toes. So let's see if she's on her toes and I can actually just jump out and grab her. That'll make it really exciting, don't you think? Shall we do it? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Got her. <laughs> you can't <laughs> you can't catch a turtle like a turtle that's what I learned a long time ago so here she is oh well, that's a rock okay uh, so this is a this is a Florida red belly I mean this is a beautiful actually this is a peninsula cooter sorry um, these are just beautiful and I love these turtles you can see the plaster on real nice color they have this prefrontal arrow which is what I'm looking at to identify her. And, uh, you know, truth be told, the uh, Sudemis, uh, which are make up all the cooters, um, I am not the foremost expert on Sudemis, but uh, this looks like a peninsular cooter because I'm looking at this line and then it ends with a very faint line that makes an arrow on the front of their nose right there. Can you bring so, it closer to I it? can, yeah. If you look at the top of her head there. But she's just a beautiful turtle. She was actually given to me. Uh, someone had her as a pet and that's why she's so gorgeous. Perfect shell. She's got some algae, but that's just life out here in the pond. And you can see she's not freaking out. She knows me. Uh, she wants to be put down. But this is a North American species. And in this, you have the Peninsula Cooter, Florida Red Belly Cooter. You've got the Plymouth Red Belly Turtle. Uh, you've got, oh gosh, River Cooter. Um, so many uh, turtles. There's a very big, diverse group of pond turtles in the southeastern United States, uh, from the sliders, which is trichemi species, the uh, painted turtles, you've got the cooters. Um, it's just incredible diversity of turtles here in the southeastern United States. You can find so much. So anyway, folks, just thought I'd show you a bit of the turtles that are in here. Now there's so many more for us to check out. Um, unfortunately, we don't have as much time as you'd like. I gotta get to work here. But uh, we'll say goodbye to her. We'll just let her down. I don't wanna swallow uh, any of that water. Did I kinda spit on you, you a little? spit all over me. I, all over you? <laughs> well, it sprayed me. Sprayed hey. you, sorry buddy. It's just pond funk. See, she's not upset. Watch, she'll just poke, pop back up and there she goes. Look, she's dumping some air, get that hiney down, and she's fine. She'll be back eating soon. So there's a little bit of the pond, everybody. I guess the only thing left for me to do now is to go for a swim. I'm not putting my head underneath this thing anymore. But it does feel good. See you later. Maybe I'll find something else for a bonus video. It's deep too.